Welcome back to the channel friends, I hope you're doing all dope. In today's video we're going to have a quick look how to use the hex server if you want to access your own go.hex.com frontend to stake or unstake some hex, so let's start right away. In yesterday's video we covered already the recent change of go.hex.com, if we scroll a little bit down you find the download links to run go.hex.com on your own server, so you can choose for Windows, Mac OS or Linux, if you click here on top the instruction link you will be redirected to the GitLab repository of PulseChain where you will find all the necessary information how to build your own binary if you want so or just use the pre-built binaries which are available for the download. If we go back here we can download the necessary files. If we click here on Windows because this is the version I would like to test now on my Windows computer the file will get downloaded automatically and we can check the file in our downloads folder. You see it's a zip file so you have to quickly unzip the file to access the folder. Once you unzipped the folder you can enter the folder. In this folder you will only find one file, the hex server exe file, and you're basically already good to go. All you have to do is double click it to run it and once you double click it you will see first of all a little window will pop up which will look like this where you can see hex server is starting and you see a link to your hex server and on the same time on your browser the go.hex.com frontend already opened up so let me make this a little bit bigger and you can see everything works great so all you have to do is to connect your metamask wallet to your own go.hex server now if we're gonna click connect metamask will open up you can verify that you're connecting to your own node by checking the link up here you can see we're connecting to the 127.0.0.1 IP address this is your local machine so no normal domain address you're connecting to your own machine which is running the hex server which we just started started two minutes ago. Once we connected to the site, you can see we're now connected with our MetaMask wallet to the go.hex frontend and we are connected to the PulseChain mainnet, which is awesome. So now you can just give a little refresh to the site. Once the site loads again, you will see that I can see and access my staked hex. Under the tab stake, I have all the stakes running. I also have the two finished stakes and whenever I need to stake or unstake my hex, I can just easily use the go.hex frontend which is running on my own machine. And of course you can change on top right here from Pulse Chain mainnet to Ethereum mainnet, you even have the option to test your stuff on the Pulse Chain testnet version 4. So once you want to switch to the Ethereum mainnet, click the Ethereum mainnet, MetaMask will ask you to switch the network, click switch network, wait a little bit until the site is loaded. Once the site is loaded you see all your stakes on the Ethereum blockchain and you can toggle in between the two chains with no hassle at all. So you see back to Pulse chain loading the stakes. This takes a while maybe depending on the amount of stakes you have but with a few stakes it goes pretty damn fast. So that's already all the magic how to use your own go.hex frontend. You can see all you have to do is double click the XF file and sometimes Windows will prevent you from running this file with a blue box. You just say more info, run anyway and you're good to go. In case you're wondering how to stop the hex server, you just click in the little command line file down here. You're gonna hit the Ctrl Z command and you see the window already disappeared. If we give a little refresh on the web page, you will see your local hex server is now no longer available and everything is good. In case you need it again, just double click the exe file, open the window and you see our command line file is here, hex server is starting and it's reachable with the address before. You can see everything works again. We're connected to Pulse Chain right away. We can easily switch to the Ethereum mainnet back and forth. Everything is working. So as you can see, everything is working pretty damn fine and you're in full control how to use your go.hex.com frontend. So whenever you need it on a Windows machine, just download the exe file, put it on the USB stick, double click it and you're good to go. So you're in total control and you don't have to rely on third-party websites to access your stakes. I hope you learned something in today's video. Take care of yourself and see you in the next one. Peace.